My name's Johnny. Hey, how's it going, Joker family? It's your boy, Haha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. Got a mad video for you guys. And today, as you guys know, ULs are officially out, and we got ourselves Dante Culpepper, a new quarterback at the helm. Honestly, I didn't think we were going to get this card at any point. You know what I'm saying? But finally in the game. But real question is, is he better than Bo? Let's go ahead and jump into his stats. And of course, get you guys gameplay. So, real quick, man, before we go ahead and jump into Dante Culpepper's stats, man, if you guys enjoy videos like this, man, if you guys enjoy Raiders theme team videos or just theme team videos in general, make sure you guys drop a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It only takes one second. And also, feel free to comment down below your thoughts and opinions on Dante Culpepper. Do you guys think he's worth a pickup over Bo Jackson? You guys can even comment down below, Raider Nation, Raider Gang, man. When you guys comment down below, it helps push the algorithm, helps get the video out to more people. But with that being said, Dante Culpepper comes in at 6'4", 95 speed, 99 throw power, 97 short, 94 medium, and a 99 at on, on their accuracies. 98 throw under pressure, 98 throw on a run, and a 96 play action. Now, here's the thing, right? Stat-wise, Dante Culpepper pretty much beats out Bo Jackson in every throwing category. I, actually, he does beat him out in every single throwing category. But here's the thing, right? I personally haven't had an issue with Bo Jackson throwing. Maybe you guys can let me in the comment section below what are your thoughts on Bo Jackson and his throwing, but I've never had a problem with it. Now, here's the other thing too. We're gonna get into this real quick. I normally wait till the end of the video after gameplay, because obviously some cards play a little bit differently than what the stats say they do. But we're just gonna jump into it. I don't think Dante Culpepper's worth the pickup. What the hell did you just say? Here's the thing, right? As good as this Dante Culpepper is stat-wise, right? The fact of the matter is, is that you bare minimal need six AP for this Dante Culpepper to be usable. I'm not gonna get into a whole discussion about gift wrap because I've already done this in past videos. At the end of the day, I'm gonna keep it sweet and to the point. There are too many DBs with knockouts on the field at, at at one time. So if somebody is spamming dollar on you, bro, there is a lot of DBs with, e some DBs got both deep zone knockout and mid zone knockout. There are too many knockout players on the field for you to risk throwing a pass for it to be incomplete because of a drop pass. It's just, it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? So I keep gift wrap on, so it's just that simple. As far as that, we have Gunslinger on him for 2 AP, we have Pass Leader Elite for 2 AP, and we have Master Tactician for 1 AP, which again, is just essentially, we pretty much just use it for a Hot Route Master, so it's just that simple. Now, here's the thing, he does get Gunslinger for 0 AP or whatever the case is, but again, with these other abilities that he gets between Fearless, he doesn't get Master Tactician in any other boxes outside of these two, and Pass Leader Elite, these all discounted abilities are gonna be way more in other boxes, so, it's best to just take the two AP hit on Gunslinger and just keep it pushing. As it is, this is what you need. Bare minimum, six AP, okay? At least for me. How y'all, what y'all thoughts and opinions are on gift wrap, that's, you know, it is what it is, right? Bare minimum, five AP for some of y'all, if that's the case. But with Bo Jackson, on the other hand, that's not the case. You can, once again, this is based off a of circumstance, right? His X Factor, one of his X Factors is Master Tactician. So if you wanted to, you could have Hot Rod Master as an X Factor. Now I've had this discussion come up in stream, in my last stream, but the fact of the matter is, is that it's really just based off a of circumstance. I don't have a problem running the ball without angry runs. It is what it is. But when it comes to passing, I would prefer to have Hot Rod Master, okay? Or Master Tactician. If you have momentum shift, which, once again, this comes to circumstance because not everybody you play against is going to have momentum shift. I lose out on not only angry runs, but I lose out on my ability for hot runs. I don't want to deal with that. So, I have Hot Rod Master on bow, and his X Factor is trust. So, it is what it is. But you can work around your AP if you so chose. Dante Culpepper, on the other hand, you can't really do that. 
You know what I'm saying? You don't have that option. Now, as far as throwing goes, Bo Jackson has a better throw animation. He has a faster throw animation, which, once again, is going to be not that noticeable because Dante's Col Dante Culpepper's throw animation isn't bad, but they both are going to have Gunslingers, so it, you won't even notice it. So it is what it is. Set Fit Lee versus Pass Leader Lee. It could go either way. Honestly, I know people are going to say Pass Leader Lee is the better ability. Okay, fine. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Dante's going for about 1.4, 1.5 mil. Bo ain't going for that. You know what I'm saying? And the other glaring problem with this card is that, well, at the end of the day, if you so chose to, Bo, if you if your Raiders theme team is anything like mine, Bo Jackson and his combine, with all the other Bo Jacksons we've gotten in their combine, and we have DHB who has combine, all these combines we have, we have speed motivator, which this gives you six agility, six speed, acceleration, run blocking, all this stuff to your old lineman, but you can be utilizing this elsewhere. So there's benefits to having Bo on your team that helps out the entirety of the team. Dante doesn't have that, you know what I'm saying? So 1.5 mil, 1.4 mil, whatever it is, to me, it's too steep, you know what I'm saying? And once again, I don't have a problem throwing with Bo Jackson. I've it's very rare that I have a problem th throwing with Bo Jackson. Okay. Now, I will also say this. After this gameplay, what I'm going to do with Dante. I'm going to keep him. Why? Because I have the means to. At this point in the year, a lot of y'all either stop playing Madden or aren't going to spend money on the game. Because what's the point? As a content creator, I'm going to keep spending money on the game to keep providing you guys good content. So, I'm going to keep him just because why not? It's a new quarterback. Something quote unquote fun as much fun as you can get playing this game. And there's no real reason for me to sell him if I'm going to keep pulling packs. You feel me? So this is what the offense is looking like as a whole, man. We are 60 out of 50 on Raider Cam defensively, no fly zone. This is what we're looking like as a whole. But either way, man, this is my two cents on Dante Cole Pepper. Once again, it's just what it really comes down to is just the price. He doesn't have an X Factor that's going to start on for you. And as far as abilities go, him and Bo Jackson, they're virtually the same. Like I say, you can go back and forth on set feet and pass lead elite, but regardless of it, even if you say pass lead elite is the better ability, is the price and the fact he doesn't have a X factor that starts on, he doesn't have anything to increase the stats of other teammates around him like Bo and his combine. Is pass lead elite really worth it then? Y'all let me know in the comment section below. But either way, man, let's go ahead and jump to this game. All right, jump. Okay, well, um, we're probably going to edit out a cut portion of this game. All right, Joker fam, so starting out on no fly zone, uh, this might be a quick game, but who knows? This guy might surprise us for some reason. I I, I strongly doubt it because this dude's got Drake May at his quarterback with no abilities. All right, might have a dot here. I uh, probably not. Take it off again. Oof, almost didn't get down in time. I wanted to truck again, but hey, it's a timing thing, bro. We got, you know, what I'm saying we got to survey the matchups. Okay, nice little, nice little throw, nice little throw. Moment, moment was too big. Not for Fred Williamson, though. Yeah, that might be our early exit. All right. Let's see what we can do here. It's on the safety, so. I'm a little bit confused on why he has no abilities and he's getting more pressure than I am. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I was just bullying this dude in the end, so. I 
All right, Joker Pep. So, find ourselves another game. An actual game. All right, so. I got all Raider boys right there, so let's go ahead. Let's get into it. All right, Joker Pep. So, starting out on no fly zone, man. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We actually playing a good team here, so we got to see what we can do. That's pet, These right? nuts. That's Off to a good start. Let's get it. All right, Joker Pep. So, on offense, man. Let's go ahead and see what Dante can really do. Uh, possible blitz, but we'll see. Okay, no. All right, we'll start it off right. Check downs. You know what I hate, though? As many times as I've trucked in stiff arm with this boat, he does have bruiser on. And more power. I, I haven't seen the power yet in these trucks or stiff arm animations. Maybe I'm tripping, but I just haven't seen it. Oh, I try to beat him to the edge. I don't know whose fault that was. But what the hell? Uh, you know what? I'm going to take my points because I, I didn't like what I saw. I really didn't. And if I throw that again and it gets broken up or something weird happens, I'm going to be pissed that I didn't get points out of this. All right, Joker, back on the fly zone. Once again, I, I don't know what that was because to me, it looked like a good pass. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Charles Woodson, it, this, <laughs> this is getting on my nerves, man. You got to play that. Oh, okay. we haven't seen this before. I already know what this is. No, I, I guess we didn't. And Howie Long. Um, Howie. Last I checked, he's supposed to have no outsiders on. I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything to you or not, but he's supposed to have it on. We'll take that. Oh, he's killing! Come on, let's go, Car. I'll take that. Go return. Okay, back on offense. Hopefully, we don't see any more of those problems. Because that was very worrisome. I, I didn't like that whatsoever. Let's see what the safety does. He's staying over there. I don't know if we can get this to Moss or not. Oh, he just jumped over my shoulder. Moss. Had a step on him too, and he just jumped right over my shoulder. I hate this so much. This goofy ass. <sighs> okay, thank you. See what? I... No pick. Not that. That's the read. That's really the read. No pick, no nothing. He's gonna pick this up. He's gonna pick this up. Without a doubt. He's gonna pick this up. I already I could I could see it. I already know he's gonna pick this up, no problem. Look at this. He threw it into double coverage. I I can't even throw it to an open post route to Darren Waller without any some weird shit happening. This dude threw it into double coverage and I got no pick. Good tackle, Aaron Donald. Good tackle. Good shed! Good... Good stop. Good stop, defense. Good stop. Good stop. That don't happen too often, but I'm glad it happened there. Okay, we'll take that. I'll take it. Oh, wait, maybe he's still in it. He might be still in it. Oh, no, he's not. All right. Oh, GG's. All right, Joker Pamp. So, third game. Uh, it's more like two and a half, but there go our Raider boys right there. We got Brian Brands, Deion Sanders, and Aminka Fitzpatrick. So, let's get into it. All right, Joker Pamp. So, this is possibly going to be our last game, so we're going to have to make this count. Um, as it is, man, we got, like I said, two and a half games in, so it is what it is. 
What? Okay, well, clearly this guy's running split slot. Why? I have no idea. Okay. I I don't get that. I, I do have mid zone on him, right? I'm, I'm sorry. Why isn't that not knocked out? Okay, and he's just RPOing to that side. Okay. Bet that up. Bro, stop. Give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me the ball, bro. Thank you. So annoying, bro. I, I don't care about Bell us or nothing like that. If you're going to spam RPO, bro, I, I'm sorry. You deserve what, what you get, man. Plain and simple. And I don't want to hear nobody, oh, Joker, all you do is spam one play anyways. At least I have to make a read, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh you got hand off or throw to the RPO. That's it. Like, there's no reads to be made. I got to, like, pay attention to what I see on the defense and make an actual read, whether it's one player or not. So, like, I don't, I don't care about none of that. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so we got ourselves a third and ten, man. Um, I will say one thing about this Dante Culpepper. The release when I'm not throwing bullet passes does seem kind of slow. I will, I will say that much. See, that one felt quick, but I don't know. In general, it just seems slow. But we got to be careful with that. I, okay, well, I lied. I honestly, the God, I did not see him sitting in that zone. I hadn't, I did not see him at all. Poor accuracy. Like, the sad part about this, too, is that, like, I have open reads. I'm just not, I'm not getting them, man. I'm not getting them. And it's not even good tackle. Let's go. That vert hook might get too far back, but we'll keep it like that for now. Man, knockouts flashing all around him, and it doesn't matter. D-line press, slanted inside. Not a, somehow ran it straight down the middle, no problem. No, Dante, Dante, I, uh, I, I, he let it go. Oh my God, he let it go, man. I forced it. I, I forced it without a doubt, man. I'm so sick right now. I'm so sick right now. Like any, once again, I had hope and read. He's literally five yards in front of me, and I still can't complete the pass. All right, Jacob fam. So I'm gonna end the gameplay right there. Um, honestly, like I said, Dante Cole Pepper is. It just is what it is. I already said it at the beginning of the video. He's just not gonna be worth the pickup for whatever reason. I just don't. I really don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a comfort thing. I don't know if it's a throw animation. Whatever it might be, it's just Dante Culpepper just doesn't feel like Dante Culpepper in this game. Maybe it's just me. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. But with that aside, right? Gameplay wise, I didn't I didn't see much. You know what I mean? And just on like little key things, don't get me wrong. Last game, I understand I made bad reads. It is what it is. But uh, a flat route that's like five yards away from you and on the run or not dog like and, and and i get it this this is more so of an ea thing than it is a a dante cole peppers thing you know what i'm saying but when you have i'm pretty sure his throw on the run's gotta be high if i i can't be tripping right let me see medium run i'm, I'm guessing run it's 98 if I'm looking at the run has to be 90, um, throwing a run has to be 98. Because all these uh, from short to medium to deep accuracies, these are all accuracies. So run has to be what it is, throwing a run. 98 throwing a run and you can't complete a pass five yards away from you? All because what? You don't have dashing or roaming dead eye? 
that's ass. That and, and and again, I get that that's more so of an EA thing, but 1.5 million, and you can't complete that pass for whatever reason. I, I'm sorry, man. Like that, that that's annoying. You know what I'm saying? That that that's really annoying. I'm gonna be honest. Like I might not even keep this Dante Cold Pepper. I said I was gonna try to keep him, hold on to him, just to have a little fun, and. I don't know, maybe in a grand scheme of things, maybe, like, I'll probably run, like, three or four more games, maybe. But by by my next stream, like, don't be surprised if he ain't on the team no more. Because it's, it's just not worth it. Bo Jackson, eh, Bo Jackson and the rest of the Combine players help out your entire team. Even if you're not going against a momentum shift player, you can have Truz on. You can have uh, Master Tactician on. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have Rock, Hot Rock Master on him as an ability, there, there's just too many things you can do with Bo Jackson that he already does well. And for 1.5 million, what does Dante do that is, we'll just, we won't even say significantly better. We'll just say better. And that's it. What is Dante doing that is better than Bo Jackson? Nothing. From what I've seen, just from these last three games, and I'll say two and a half. I'm not going to really count too much of the first game. But just from these couple games, I'm sorry. He's not doing anything that I haven't seen Bo Jackson do. At least if Bo Jackson makes a, a poor accuracy read or or throw in a pressure or throw in a run or whatever the case is, okay, fine. You know what I'm saying? But if my 99 overall Dante Culpepper with 98 throwing a run can't complete a five-yard flat route pass because he's on the run or out of the pocket... It's not worth 1.5 mil. But you guys let me know in the comment section below. Either way, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If so, make sure you guys drop some likes on the like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It only takes one second. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right? Peace.